Good morning everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. This weekly vlog is basically um, my sister's wedding week and I'm going to get my henna done now. I'm just waiting to pick up my auntie. It is currently 9.50. So she's about to come out, I'm having my breakfast. I've got these energy balls that Hubs has made me. Well, he made it for himself, but because there wasn't enough for both of us, he left them all to me, how sweet. I really appreciate him but they're so nice they're like dates nuts peanut butter cinnamon so good i am freezing cold got my henna done I'm, I'm actually shivering that's how cold i am we was in a shed in a bloody shed anyway let me just get my bag off so let me just tell you about this, okay? So our appointment was at 10.30, yeah? My cousin made an appointment for us at 10.30. Do you know what time? I got my henna done. 11.30, I got there at 10.20. If it wasn't my sister's wedding, I would have walked out after 20 minutes. And the thing is, like, I'm not an impatient person. I'm very patient. But the lady started washing her dishes, making her baby's breakfast, not baby her, like one year old's breakfast and all sorts when we got there. And I was just thinking we made an appointment. We came really early as well. I left my baby at home. Anyway, um, so many hours later. The one thing I can't deal with is unprofessionalism. But anyway, my henna's done. It's all right. It's all right. She was rushing a bit, I'm not gonna lie, because her baby was around, her one year old's around. Um, thank God it's done. If it wasn't my sister's wedding, I really wasn't gonna stick around and I was just gonna leave it and say, you know what, forget about it. But alhamdulillah, it's all done. Um, don't ask me who it is, because I won't tell you guys. If you want a good henna artist, go to my cousin. She's fabulous and um, she really is. And she will not be rushing. Anyway, I've got this latte macchiato that I bought in my weekly food shop, which I will link down below if you haven't watched it. And I, I did a meal plan as well. The what I ate for the week for those meal plans will go up soon, just not yet. I'm very busy. I'm a very busy lady, <laughs> as you can tell. Haven't had breakfast. It is now one o'clock. So get that. My appointment was at half ten. Why have I left at one o'clock? has just started at 11.30 ah, Alhamdulillah I honestly can't even relax because Liana is quite difficult I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna have another one of these um, energy balls honestly it's so good did I tell you guys so it's like dates he soaked dates blended it with oats cinnamon he added peanut butter and blended it but i think next time i'm gonna tell him add the peanut butter after when you're shaping them so that they have the nut pieces in there but it's so good and i think coconut oil as well mm, 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 mm. bless him he took some to work yesterday because he always says that he doesn't have time to actually sit and eat breakfast at work so he just makes these and um, he can take it to his office and just eat away. And there's a closer look at my henna. I'm gonna go get some false seas tomorrow. Um, obviously I'm praying so I can't get the acrylics. I really wish I could, but I'm praying so I can't. Uh, I'm just gonna get the stick on ones and just pull it off after. I have literally just walked in from doing school run. I left my mom's house around 2.30. I got here at 2.15, 2.15, see, I'm living with it. I got here at 2.45 and then I decided instead of taking the car to pick up Malik, even though it is raining so hard, I decided to just come and park it and then walk because if I park it at the school, 
there's so many cars it's always jam-packed you know what school pickups are like and then i have to get liana of her car seat put her in the sling holding an umbrella and then i have to then put her back into the car seat because she's asleep you see and then i have to put malik in there and then only to face some traffic to get into my road i literally live three minute walks so imagine what the drive would be like if i live three minute walks away from your school so i decided to just you know what brave it get my giant umbrella <laughs> um and just yeah I even went to Tesco's in this crazy torrential rain. I'm crazy, I know. Because I didn't take any meat out today. Um, I don't have any salmon or anything like that. So I decided to buy some eggs in Tesco and make some shakshuka. The same breakfast I made in the video that I recorded. Come cook breakfast with me. I'm going to make that for dinner. We don't really care what you make in this house. We don't care if it's breakfast for dinner. We don't care if it's dinner for breakfast we just eat <laughs> we just eat so i'm gonna make that same thing and tomorrow's the wedding oh my car is on um it's the lights on yeah that's what i do i drive until the light is on um hubby literally has a panic attack whenever he goes into my car and he sees the red light he's like oh my god he doesn't even let it get halfway you guys hear the rain Hi everyone, long time. I look so shiny. It's literally been about three or four days since I last picked up the camera. The last clip you would have seen before this was um, me talking about my sister's wedding. The day after that was actually my sister's wedding. Obviously I wasn't gonna film that because she's not really on social media and she wouldn't want me to put it out there. So um, yeah, but the wedding was successful. It was really good. She's away on her honeymoon now in Cyprus and yeah i thought i would pick up the camera again to be honest i haven't been feeling like myself the past few days and i just wanted time to zone out so that's exactly what i did zoned out uh four days literally did nothing just didn't even like clean my house for four days to be honest so i might record myself doing that tomorrow because i bought minky like if you guys know mrs hinge mrs hinge home on instagram if you follow her um she's crazy about minky she's on honeymoon right now and she took minky with her and if you don't know what minky is it's a it's a cloth it's an antibacterial cloth i know how crazy is that <laughs> but i'll show you guys i bought it like weeks ago and i haven't used it once so i thought you know what let me use it let me share it with you guys guess how many i bought tune in till tom tomorrow well it won't be tomorrow it'll be the next few clips for you or the next day and um, i'll show you how many i bought <laughs> and i'll talk more about that but anyway i'm off to aldi now uh it is like eight o'clock now and i'm off to aldi i think it closes at 10 but yeah let's go to aldi I've made it to aldi i'm going to put a timer on my phone and i want to be in there for just 20 minutes i'm gonna try my best to make it in 20 minutes because i do tend to spend about an hour in Aldi <laughs> who else does that I can't just go in and go out like I can't just pop in and pop out but I did make sure I had my dinner before um, I came out so alhamdulillah for that now I'm not going to just chuck everything into my basket I look horrendous you should see what I'm wearing but by the way I'll show you when I get home <laughs> um feel like a bit and look at my hand ew don't you hate it henna when it starts to go like looks like your hands got a disease or something like when it's rubbing off and it just looks disgusting that's what i don't like about henna anyway oh my goodness guys look what i've just come across what do you guys reckon this is a dupe of if you know what it is write it in the comment section below but i'll tell you what it is when i get home but i'm gonna pick this up to try and look at this how amazing is this it's micellar water. Can you see charcoal micellar water? People have been saying that this is really good, but I'm not gonna try it because I don't really need it. Mm. Oh, what's this then? Smashbox. Oh my God, guys, Aldi are killing it with their dupes. I mean, are Aldi doing bits or are they doing bits? I don't know whether to try this or not. Let me see if there's an open one so I can have a look at it. Guys, I'm dying, look. NARS, literally exact same packaging and everything. I have never seen Aldi so quiet. Literally. I've been here for about 30 minutes now. And um, let's just say I'm nowhere near to being 
done so I've reset my 20 minute timer to another 20 minutes so I guess it's gonna be a 40 minute thing you know I'm back 70 pounds later yes I spent 70 pounds I don't know how that happened actually I do know I did treat myself to a couple of things I'll show you guys when I get home I've got the face mask in the end the glow is it glam glow yeah glam glow dupe and I got I got a bottle for myself I got a candle and um, I got a dry shampoo somebody actually asked me in my comment section where do you put your baby when um, you go out shopping and then somebody <laughs> replied to that and said she puts her in her boot <laughs> couldn't stop laughing honestly hilarious anyway I think I might pop into Tesco he's only next to my house anyway I literally spent an hour in here if that isn't having a good time or having the time of your life, I don't know what is. Let us go to Tesco's, okay? I literally just walked in through the door like five minutes ago and I got hubby to bring all the bags in. I had five bags all together, one, two, three, four, five. Still do, but I told him to put all the frozen bits in the freezer, like the veggies, the ice creams, um, garlic bread, all that stuff. I told him to put it in the freezer straight away when I came in because... I just wanted to sit down for like two three minutes so anyway i'm back i didn't end up going to tesco's because my phone was playing up and plus i had like a three percent charger and i didn't know how to get back home even though it's five minutes away i don't know because i've only been there once um i really didn't want to risk it so i just decided you know what <laughs> let's use this charger to get back home and um we'll try tesco maybe tomorrow the day after so we'll go there another day i still have like five six things i need to pick up even though i got all of this stuff I'm not going to do a haul today. Please excuse all these toys. <laughs> Children live here. Anyway, um, I'm not going to do a food haul today. But I will show you the extra bits that I bought that I don't normally pick up. Because they're interesting, right? And also, what I like to do... Oh, this guy. I told him not to put anything in here. And he had. Before putting the food shop in the fridge. I like to clean it. And like disinfect it. Mm, it's not so bad because hubby wiped it yesterday. But can you see like bits of food? Can you see it's just... I just like to give it a good spray with the disinfectant. Wipe it up and then put the food in. So he went and put the cheeses in, which he shouldn't have. So what I'm going to do is get all the food out, spray, spray, and then pop everything in. So I'm going to do a quick time lapse so you can watch me do that. Right, so here we go. There's the fridge, can you see? It's just really, you know. Yeah, it's just got bits of food everywhere. Just needs a quick wipe before all of this food goes back into it. I'm gonna use this four in one pine disinfectant spray. This is really good. Look how much nicer and cleaner the fridge looks now. You can literally see how sparkling these drawers are. Look at those. Wow. No food, crumbles, nothing. Just nice and clean. I just got these two today. So up there, I put my gherkins, olives, uh, medicines and all that stuff. Also, it says prevents frost and freezer burn. Look at that. That looks really good. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Let pop. I think Liana's crying. Yeah, she is crying.
Okay, so here are the things that I got for myself from Aldi. Can't bother showing you the food stuff, but so this is a Glam Glow dupe face mask that a lot of people are talking about on Instagram. And I showed you guys the bits that Aldi have, but I decided to pick this one up. And I'll show you in a sec, I'll open it up, but for now I'll just show you the other bits I got. So I got this dry shampoo, and I got this. I actually did a poll on my Instagram, let's see what it's saying, I'll just have a look at it in a sec. There was this one, and there was a bluish grey one, it wasn't grey, it was like a blue blue. So I decided to get this one. I decided to pick that up, um, you can put like, tea, keep it hot. You can put cold drinks, keep it cold, you get the gist. Can you tell what dupe this is? Go on guess guys, it's the simple and this was so cheap, like maybe, I don't know, one pound something. So I decided to pick it up because I needed a face wash. And then I got myself a candle finally. I got one for myself, I think the last time I got a candle of this type was um, when I used to live back in my old house. That was a long, long time ago. This guy likes to keep the container after and he puts food in it, which is quite clever actually. He puts like his overnight so um, oats and takes it to work. So yeah, I'm gonna be keeping this jar once it's gone. But last time I think I got number three. This time I decided to give this one a go because it smells really good. And it's only 3.59, which is dirt cheap for a candle of this size. Hi everyone, so it's the next day now and I bet it seems like a deja vu because I did the exact same thing last night. I filmed, actually I filmed a lot later last night than I am right now. Right now it is currently 6 o'clock in the evening and I am off out with my friend to have some dinner because I haven't actually seen her for months. Last time I saw her was before Liana was born, like months before Liana was born. So we do a good catch up, we might go to Nando's not sure yet but just sneaked out of the house got my boots with me they're my boots um, a lot of you asked me where they're from they're from Aldo I'll show you guys my outfit because I really like this outfit I'll show it to you when I get back home but for now let's go and um, eat some dinner because all I've had all day is breakfast two toast I don't know why that is actually two toast and a couple of biscuits and that's it anyway I'm starving, she's starving, so we better head off. I'll, I probably won't vlog much because we want to catch up, but I'll show you clips of the food, whatever we decide to eat. Hi, everybody. Do you mind me in my video? Um, does that look cute? Yeah, and the cheesecake. And a cheesecake. Yeah. No, you don't have to be in my video. If you don't want to. But we just finished um, Nando's and now I'm just waiting for dessert. Takeaway pizza hop. I'm just getting dessert for me and half of this one. Like, she's just leaving me. She's abandoning me. No, I'm not. We're supposed to like spend the evening together and I just thought, babe, you were one hour late. Bye. You were one hour. Half an hour. One hour. Half an hour. Half an hour. Happy no. But anyway, we're in a cute outfit. I got all cute power and everything. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'll show you guys the outfit actually and actually look at her, doesn't she look like so bougie? Like proper expensive. And so I had to just pop my heels off so I can put my flats on to drive. I cannot drive with heels to save my life. I really don't like the fact that in England the retail parks close so early. Like why does life have to end at 8 o'clock? <laughs> anyway. Nasra has gone. She didn't even bother to walk me to my car. How rude. I know. Really rude of her. If you're watching Nasra, you're proper rude, you know. Not walking me to my car like a proper gent. Anyway, I got the desserts for me and Hobbs. I got cookie dough and I got cheesecake. I think I'm going to have the cookie dough. Yeah, he can just get whatever I didn't want. <laughs> and how cute is Nasra? She got Liana. An outfit, how cute of her. Shall I show you guys what it is? Nah, not. I'm gonna go home now, it's nine o'clock, so I'll probably catch you lot at home to show you my outfit. Here's my outfit, minus the shoes. I was wearing like the boots, the black boots, but I really like this um, because if you can tell, it's not tight on the legs, like it's really loose. Um, yeah, I just I love it, it's really nice. Um, the back if i can show you hi so i'm editing uh, this video that you're watching right now i realized i didn't film an outro for it 
so here i am i literally pulled this throw off the sofa to pop it on my head it's like a makeshift scarf you like it <laughs> also i got ready because i'm going out check me out party animal Woo! going out like is it the third time in a row now this week i don't know but it's seven o'clock i'm about to go out i'm all ready i decided not to do so much makeup i'm literally just wearing concealer and a lippy and mascara and brows <laughs> But that's it that is literally it not highlighter no bronzing no contouring but yeah i thought i would just end off this video here i hope you guys have enjoyed watching it if you did give it a thumbs up so i know you like these type of videos so i should make more of them and um, if you have any more suggestions of what type of videos i should create let me know in the comment section below but thank you so much for your constant support and love in my previous videos and i will catch you in the next one very very soon so see you then.